offensive line isn't very good. And I and they told us the offensive line was going to be better. They told us the defensive line is going to be better. They still can't uh, uh, consistently rush mm -hmm. the quarterback, Ocho, without sacrificing their back end right. and bringing extra people. They can't stop right. the run consistently. They get gashed. Hence, they had 30. All right. Now, what y'all just heard was uh, Shannon Sharp and Chad Ocho Cinco on ICAP talk about Colorado. And when they lost or excuse me, when they won last week against North Dakota State, they were already kind of cautious. But, you know, as everybody know, Colorado got destroyed by Nebraska. It was over. It was over halfway through the first quarter. And like they said, they can't block. They can't run. Um, they go. They let her on Shannon. And I, and I give Shannon his credit. He says Shador holds on to the ball too long. And I also said that a lot of people are just blaming the old line. But listen, if you're supposed to be a generational quarterback, you got to be able to make plays. And sometimes you got to throw the ball away. He holds on to the ball way too long. And that line is 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 they can't block, you know, unfortunately. But look, man, I don't know. And I, and I figured this was going to happen. If Coach Prime didn't go in there and start recruiting the best people, the media are going to turn on him. See, like I said, when he was a darling last year for the first couple of weeks and, you know, he got shade selling out sunglasses or whatever, selling out and everything else. They was on ESPN and Fox and everybody was flying in, all the celebrities. But all of that has to be validated with winning. You know what I mean? And, and that's what Shannon is saying. Like, people are going to turn on you. And, and even with Shador, that wasn't a good look to Shador, for Shador to leave two minutes before the end of the game when you the main person out there talking smack which is cool it's cool if you win you know what i'm saying but you could at least congratulate it yo the the opponents because the nfl they're not gonna tolerate that you can't do that in the nfl you know what i mean as a quarterback you get most of the of the when you win you get most of the credit when you lose you get most of the blame and even in his post interview, he was talking about Dylan Raiola was like, how many times did he get hit? And, and you know, if he didn't get hit as much, well, you got to throw the ball away too, man. You either got to, you either got to let that ball go or you got to throw it away. You be holding it, holding it. Then you get hit. Yeah. You're going to get hit six, seven times. And you can't do that in the league. You can't hold the ball that long in the league in the NFL. Could you imagine Miles Garrett or, or, or Aaron Donald, if he was still in the league hitting, hitting should have seven times in the game? His career will probably be over, you know, so and he's played the villain role and I get it. That's your dad. You're going to ride with Coach Prime. But, man, you it's got to be backed up by winning. You know what I mean? And you you got you got most of the you got the, the Nike deals and the NIL deals and you ride around with the Rolls Royce. Even Tom Brady was saying, you know, you better make sure you focus on football, but you're doing all of that. That's fine. Just when you lose, you're going to get the blame. And that's OK, because when you win, you're going to get the credit. And also, I've heard people say the offense is really built around Shador and uh, Travis Hunter. I kind of see that to a degree, but I mean, look, they got Warren Sapp, a Hall of Famer. They got other coaches there, man. You got to coach, you got to coach up what you have and you got to be able to stop the run. And maybe this, maybe after this year, if Coach Prime is still there, because they got a long way to go. And most people didn't think that the first game was a good win. They lost, they won by what, five points? So they got a long way to go. But I would hope Coach Prime moving forward will start recruiting. You're going to have to get, because I know they got blue chip recruit last class. That's going to have to be the majority of your class, man, like Herbie Smart or like how Nick Saban did. You got to get blue chip after blue chip after blue chip. Because when I watched them against Nebraska, it was literally like varsity playing against freshmen or varsity playing against sixth graders. They couldn't do anything. Even Dylan Riola, the way he was throwing the ball and letting it go. And, and, and I know he's coached by a Patrick, uh, Patrick Mahomes is quarterback coach, but it just, it seems like they was 10,000 years ahead of Colorado. And I believe, I believe that's Matt Rule's second year, like Coach Prime. I believe so. So, man, I don't know. But, but you, you got to recruit. Honestly, if you don't get a quarterback next year, man, I think, I think he gone, man. I don't know if he'll go to the league or a different school, but I don't think he's going to stay there. But I agree with Shannon, man. It, they, they got a long, a long season and people are waiting on him to fail. I don't want him to fail. I, I want to see Shador be the number one all pick and win the highest but i want to see coach Brock, coach prime win a couple of national titles but they're gonna have to change some stuff up and they also seem undisciplined y'all got too many penalties too many penalties you know what i mean for a team to be arrogant and again if you want to be like miami and all them teams back in the day that was, that was arrogant cool but you gotta win so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it you know piggyback off of what shannon was saying tell me what y'all think